Hey guys, what's up? This is EffectsDude79, and I am back with another tutorial. Um, as you might have noticed, this is a very special tutorial, as this tutorial is my first ever tutorial that's been done in Adobe After Effects CS4, and I'm very uh, pleased to be doing uh, tutorials now in After Effects because before it's only limited to Sony Vegas, but the Sony Vegas people don't be scared because. Um, I still will make tutorials for Sony Vegas. There'll still be a lot of tutorials, and um, some of them will be almost the same as the one in After Effects. Um, not as good because After Effects uh, is a special effects editing program, and Sony Vegas is just a. Uh, it has some special effects, but it's not meant for it uh, entirely. But, <clears throat> anyways, uh, I'm sorry I haven't recorded a tutorial in a while, um, but I am back, so. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make the realistic fire that you saw on my channel. If you haven't seen it, um, click the thing, the little box that just appeared and watch the video. Um, it's very realistic fire, but before, um, before I start uh, doing the tutorial, I have to give credit to the guy who originally made this. Um, his uh, Vimeo account is uh, vimeo.com slash 1860130 and I'll give you a link in the description he was the uh, person who originally made this tutorial he did a great tutorial but I thought I'd jump a little bit in depth to it and um, there was a lot of stuff you had to do in that tutorial so I just went ahead and made a preset um, that you can actually download at my website it's effectsdude79.com uh, it's over in the description <coughs> go to the downloads page and download the realistic fire preset folder and once you download it uh, it should come up wherever you saved it I saved it in my documents folder it should come up like realistic fire zip and if you open it up uh, once it's unloading you're gonna see realistic fire and then you're gonna see three fi uh, files realistic fire part one part two and part three because this is done in three steps um, okay, go ahead and unzip this, and what you're gonna get is a realistic fire folder like this. And again, it has part one, part two, and part three inside of it. And then you're gonna want to open up. Um, uh, sorry, you're gonna want to go to your C drive, go to Program Files, Adobe, After Effects CS4, whatever version you have, Support Files and presets. Now I made a new folder called EffectsDude79 and go ahead and just copy that realistic file folder to your uh, EffectsDude79 folder. Now uh, these are some other presets that I'll cover in other tutorials. Alright so let's go ahead get an After Effects. Once you've done that you want to right click on effects and presets and hit refresh list. That way you have these presets available and you're gonna see some stuff going on up here it's just gonna interlize and scan them once again so I'll just skip this part uh, don't be scared if this takes quite a while the first time you do it <clears throat> it will because um, it does have to sort of scan them um, <clears throat> but anyways now if you go to your effects and presets uh, list you can type in realistic fire and it will come up with presets of XD79 realistic fire and then we'll have realistic fire part one, part two, and part three. Okay, so let's next. Now we've got all that, so let's go ahead and get started. Create a new composition by going composition, new composition. Just make it 720 by 480. Uh, NTSC DV is fine, and six or seven or six or seven minutes or seconds. Sorry, uh, five, whatever you want. Really, it doesn't matter. I just chose six. That's left over from some other composition. I just figured I'd go with it and turn off transparency we're gonna go ahead and add a solid by going layer oops sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand holding my mic in my other hand um, layer new solid and it doesn't matter the color just make it comp size that's 720 by 480 in case something weird happens um, <clears throat> just add make the name fire one hit ok actually we can rename that fire doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to add realistic fire part one to that by just dragging it on. And if we scroll forward in time, we can already see some pretty cool stuff going on here. Um, if it scrolls, 
It's being really weird and slow, sorry. Uh, let me see if I can scroll forward like this. There we go. So you can see, uh, basically this is a CC particle world. Um, I believe it's actually CC particle systems too. Um, and by the way, I used uh, this guy's tutorial that's in the description um, to create this. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you have to do. So I just uh, <clears throat> went ahead and uh, made a preset for it. Um, by the way, this will generate, um, if you follow this tutorial exactly using the presets I provided, it'll provide one exactly like the one on my channel. So unless you want to look like you're ripping off me, you might want to change it up a little bit. And you can do that by just messing around with, you know, the longevity and that sort of like a fall off point. It, it, you can just fool around with all these controllers and stuff. Um, this moves the producer, so it's uh, spread out. You can do that if you want to, by the way. Um, just instead of having a little small uh, fire stream, you can have a very large fire stream. But I like it like this. Okay, now we're gonna create another new solid by going layer new solid again, and make comp size as well. And we're gonna call this. Oh, by the way, you can rename by hitting enter on the keyboard, and it's not working. Um, for some reason, my keyboard is all screwed up right now. But anyways, call this smoke. Oops, smoke. Because uh, we'll put this at the bottom, and you can see when you scroll forward, uh, it's doing weird stuff, sorry. Um, you can see when you turn on the transparency, uh... Transparency. Oh well. Well, there's no smoke right now, which we want. Uh, so go ahead and add realistic fire part two to the smoke light, and that'll create some smoke that you can see if you turn on the transparency. Some nice smoke there uh, makes it look a bit more realistic. Okay, so we're done with this part. Go ahead and highlight these two layers. Hit layer precompose. Call this fire and move all attributes into the new composition. Hit OK. Alright, so now that we've got this as one layer, we can apply the realistic fire part 3. And this just sort of uh, tones it up and creates some nice uh, contrasts and colors. This uses a displacement map actually to move it around a bit more. It uses a tent, um, and you can just mess around with the amount of tent, uh, more or less, whatever you want. I like it about here. Um, 60%. Um, brightness, you can turn up the brightness more or less. Uh, that's about good for me. Contrast, that turns up the colors. You don't want to turn it up too high or it looks really bad. And then hue and saturation, I actually didn't use this, but um, if you want to, you know, hue it a bit first, yeah, you can do that. But I didn't actually really need that, so. Um, if you want to, it should come by default off, so just leave it like that. And obviously this is one layer now, so if you want to make it like a 3D layer and create a camera by going with layer, new, camera, uh, 35 millimeter is fine, and then using the orbit camera tool, and you can just sort of scroll around here. You can see that this is just one layer, uh, it's not 3D or anything obviously, because um, can't really do 3D fire when we're too well. Um, it'd be kind of strange. You'd have to do that in 3D Max or something. Um, but uh, you can move this around wherever you want. You can um, you can just render it and bring it in whenever you want, or you can just use uh, you can just save this precomp and bring it in whenever you want some fire. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, if you do want to watch the full tutorial. I will again leave you a link in the description or you can go to vimeo.com slash 1860130 and this guy has a great tutorial um, on it. I just thought I'd go ahead and create a preset so it's easier for you guys. Um, hope this tutorial helped. I will see you guys in the next one.